welcome to another episode of Die Another Day. And by another, I mean like the third one this year. And um, so we decided, since you guys probably don't know who we are or remember who we are or, I don't know, are we even relevant anymore? Yeah. This is Amanda. <laughs> I die wool sometimes. Not lately, but I do. <laughs> and uh, we have a podcast. We do. And we have Instagram. We do. And we have Facebook pages. And you yes. have a very good Ravelry page. Eh, I update it sometimes. Sometimes. I have a few things that are going on my Ravelry page. Oh, this is projects. Christina. Yeah, hi. I'm Christina. And she's me, the cozy knitter. And you're the yarn enabler. Yeah. And together we're dying all the time. Yeah. So we are yarn dyers. And we started yeah. this podcast like three years ago, I almost think. Almost four. Four? I think it's four. I think it's four. When we actually used to do it weekly. We did. We did used to yeah. do it a lot more regularly when we yeah. first started. And we've been really bad. But, but anyways, enough about our, our bad. Yeah. Let's talk past. about us. Yeah. So, this summer, what did you get up to? I had a great summer. I took the summer mm -hmm. off from dyeing wool, updating my Instagram, social media. I deleted it all off my phone. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. The kids and I, I have three kids. We, we went to the water park. We went mm -hmm. to the parks. We went camping for a week with my brother. Fun! We did family pictures. We did... Um, like you name it, we had a great summer. It was good. And nice we also had like pajama days summer. because, damn. Well, you need some pajama days yeah. when you're used to like getting up and go. Like, we didn't do any um, like organized activities this summer. It was like no baseball, no soccer, no, a little bit of dance, but not mm. too, too much. And then um, now we're back in the thick of it. Yeah. Now it's time for scouts and Kids cubs are back and. At school. Hence awesome. the daytime Yay. podcast. And we have no little ones. Not a one. So it's Not a quiet. One. We've literally sat for an hour and chatted. Yeah. And, and tried to muster up the nerve to start doing this. Why is it so, so hard? We apologize minutes. if the beginning is a little awkward. We will hit our stride at some mm -hmm. point. Um, yeah, no, this yeah. summer was really busy for us. Our mm -hmm. kids are in a lot of organized sports. Yes. So we did a fair bit of traveling. Um, one of our sons plays on a travel team, so we traveled to um, Baltimore, and then we took a little yeah. detour to Washington, D.C. and saw a few things, yeah. and then we were back like two weeks later, we went to Delaware and Pennsylvania. Um, and then my other son plays in like a, a club baseball mm. team, mm. So and my, my husband coaches the team, so they've been really busy, and then yeah. my son that plays lacrosse also plays on a club lacrosse team <laughs> so we had like two days off from like may until middle of august yeah and um we had the last two weeks of august off but it was mm. cold like we were thinking oh maybe we'll go camping like our family mm, was mm. going camping like, oh maybe we'll do it but it was cold we're like no yeah. <laughs> not going that far to be freezing and can't swim mm. so we did see each other a couple times summer though yeah yeah we, we went had a to day at the pool. pool that was fun we really enjoyed yeah. so i have five boys she has two boys so there's one girl <laughs> i know my poor little girl she's in the middle she yeah. she keeps up with the boys but i'm pretty sure she'll put them in their place yeah yeah but thankfully yeah. she's always gone dancing so yeah it works yeah. and our boys are in some activities together too so yeah. they're they're quite good friends so yeah that's really nice yeah like my son came over first he video was gaming here last yesterday night. yeah yeah and uh and that's... last weekend and yeah anyway that's how it goes <laughs> oh well so we you did a lot of knitting. I did a lot of knitting. I did a lot of dyeing this summer, actually. Um, you guys have no idea the absolute I. There's literally yarn best. all around us. This behind me is my personal stash. There's I don't even know how many more times stuff there is all around us. So I think it's like a tax deduction for our podcast at this point, though. Like this yeah. is this should be like I think it should be. It's a background. <laughs> it, you would buy a screen. A drop screen? Yeah. So yeah. why not? So I am getting ready for Knit City, which is a yarn festival, which is in Vancouver, BC, um, Canada. And yeah. it's the first weekend of October. I think it's the 4th and the 5th. Yeah, you're like, what, two, three, three weeks, weeks out? <laughs> so she's so, got... She's got prep. She's, I have she's yarn to everywhere that's most of it is labeled and packed and ready to be shipped. Yeah. And then I'm prepping for a Christmas update. Yeah. And then there's Advent. Yeah. There's a lot of Advent stuff hanging around here. So I'm going to make sure none of y'all see it. Um, but I get to see it. 
So <laughs> with Advent, um, this was this idea I decided on last year because uh, a lot of dyers do their mini skein calendars. And um, I thought I dye silk striping yarn, why not offer an alternative? So I did a 24 stripe Advent skein. And um, I thought if I sell a couple of dozen, like that would be cool. And um, there was so much demand for it that I kept dying and dying and dying. And I think yeah. by the end of it, it was like somewhere between four and 500 skeins that I ended up shipping out. And for those of you who participated in my update in July, first of all, sorry about all the emails. That was a technical glitch. <laughs> <sighs> really it stressful. It happened. Really, really stressful. Um, but I got email, I like I got people messaging me and said, I thought there was gonna be a lot available. I sold more in like half of a day than I did all of last season. So there it's really a was a People lot. There really them. was a lot. But I'm trying I'm trying to make more and more and more to get it to everybody. But there will be some at Knit City. Yeah. That so you if you purchase. live on the West Coast, you can do you can mm -hmm. get some. Yeah. I'm really excited. Awesome. We've never been. Uh, my husband's coming with me, and we've never been to Vancouver. Yeah. So we're really excited to go a few days in advance and explore and see some sights. Yeah, Vancouver is epic. Mm -hmm. And you guys are winos, so you'll like going. Well, I am. He drives. So, he He's drives. my DD. <laughs> <laughs> you need one of those in life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we got stuff to show. That's life. Yeah. But um, as far as knitting, um, I started this back in June. It is the Weekender Sweater, which is a pattern by Andrea Mowry. That's yeah, I think I was supposed to knit this with you, and I didn't. <laughs> what is this giant thing? I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. I don't even know which way it's going. Oh, it's, it's just on hold. There we go. So. Look at that, guys. There we go. I and love so the marl. It's knitting around, and I started doing... Do you knit it? Or purl it in the round. You purl it. No. Mm -mm. You knit it inside out. You okay, because I was going to say, I would just flip that bad boy inside out and just knit. Yeah. No, you knit it inside out. What is out. going on there? Um, I'm doing short rows. <laughs> okay. So I'm sort of starting to do the shoulder shaping. Okay. Like I've split at the armpit, so I'm just like, yay, fire up. And then um, I was looking at people's projects. So mm -hmm. it has a rather like wide... Mm -hmm. um, neck opening and I kind of wanted the front to sort of be a little lower. I don't like things like right high up on my neck so mm -hmm. I was toying with the idea of um, I think the short row shaping. modify it. I think the short row shaping just goes like from one side to the other to create like sort of this angle for your shoulders Yeah. but I kind of want it to dip a little Okay. in the middle. I don't know. That's why this has been on hold since like just forever to, ago. You're just, just thinking about decide it. Decide what to do. It's percolating. Yeah, so I I cast this on in June, and I was knitting it on our trip to um, Baltimore, and mm -hmm. literally That's sitting in like knitting. sweltering heat on the sidelines, watching lacrosse and knitting this. And the parents are like, "Why do you have a wad of wool in your lap? It is so hot." <laughs> but it was You're like it was just cold. like the stress of watching the game, and oh my, my God, hands are just going, and I'm sort yeah. of like. You know, working through it. But anyways, mm -hmm. the yarn is Shelter by Brooklyn Tweed, and it is in the Narwhal colorway. Mm. So, yeah. So I'm excited about that. So it's yeah, gonna be nice. Um, we have another couple of like car trips coming. It's really light too. Oh my god. Yeah. I totally expected this to feel so much heavier than it no. does. Wow, that's gonna be so comfortable to wear though. Mm -hmm. Not quite as like floofy as you think it's going to be, though. No, but it's not blocked yet, so I think it will get a little yeah. even softer with like, right. blocking and washing. And uh, yeah, I got no, it. That would feel nice to wear, though. Yeah, I got a bit more yeah. like carnating coming up, so I feel like this will be finished pretty quickly. Ooh. This is my blue field bag. Look, this which should is my be mine. Look at the color. Jays and um, baseball Hall of Fame pin. And then Love this is the, the Nidorati blue. pin from our friend Patricia of Paradise Island. So that was what I'd been working on the beginning of the summer. There's a lemon in here. Right is now. it real? It, no. no, it's a wooden. <laughs> I was like, lemon. oh my god, can you imagine? Maybe it's like a darning egg. I could use it as a darning egg. You totally could use that as a darning egg. Yeah, maybe I'll hold on to that. Don't tell the Do kids. you actually darn? Well, no. 
<laughs> thought about it. You know, you should be prepared. I pulled out a pair of socks the other day and noticed that there was a little hole in it. I'm like, oh, I really should dine that. So maybe I will. Because yeah, it was my gingerbread socks. But then, but then I was also kind of thinking, oh, wouldn't it be nice to knit a pair of gingerbread socks in like um, MCM? Yeah, that would be, but honestly, the way you go through socks. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should just I would stick it. with workhorse yarn. Yeah, like you could you could do some BFL. Yeah, I have some. Yeah. I have some. Yeah. 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 So that was that. Nice. You want um, me to go? Sure. All right. Go back and forth? Sure. Okay. I didn't knit a lot because I'm having problems with my finger. And Christina, because she taught me, and I knit continental, mm -hmm. so this finger does a lot of this, especially yep. when I'm purling. And I've developed arthritis in this joint, so... Oh, I purl with my thumb. I know I've been trying to <laughs> I I've seen you do it so I've been trying to do that because um, <laughs> of course I was on Instagram once I reactivated my account and I saw this thing that everybody is doing called the ripple bralette and I thought mm. how cute is that because I have a problem with boobage spillage hmm. so I wanted something I could wear underneath shirts or dresses or whatever to kind of contain. I mean, mm -hmm. I can't wear it solo. I would still need to wear something underneath, but I wanted something for the winter time to kind of cover this. So I pulled out two possibilities for skeins and you guys mm -hmm. on Instagram were no help because it's literally in half. Ah. You guys literally half voted for one, half voted for the other. All of our knitting friends half voted for one, half voted for the other. So these so are it's my choices. You podcasting people. Yeah, now we're down to the wire. <laughs> the true reason why we came back. Right? This is the reason. Okay, so my thoughts are, I love this. This is super fun. I really like that, too. It's called Dirty Talk. I love it. It's very appropriate. For it's you. very appropriate. I think it would go under so many clothing. I mean, I wear a lot of black, and I wear grays, and I wear blues and greens and whatnot. So I think mm -hmm. this would be perfect underneath that. I love it. It's so much fun. But... <laughs> This is so much fun, too. Like, these colors speak to me, and I think it would be a nice pop of color. I think that would look really nice under a neutral. Right? Because I wear a lot of neutral sweaters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this, I can see myself using this for something else. Like, I can see this as really great mitts. Hat. I could see this as part of a shawl. Like, I can see this in something else, but I've had this forever because I just don't know what to do with it because it's a lot. I actually really like that because... Um really nice pop of color and it's not yeah. something that you'll see a lot no of. you'll like see if you're doing a be. cowl that's a lot of color right, right up against yeah. the face or like yeah. even on on your head like it would be a lot, lot of bright color and i've had this for oh like five years maybe no four years i don't know groovy hues it's called can you dig it and it's never it's still virgin it hasn't been opened yet that's so here we go like you to Ooh. never <gasps> so satisfying so I like, think how you should do this one. Is that? Like I can see that. Like well, and depending on how like in your face you want it to be, you can put yeah. you know a layer over top that shows more or less. Right. Of it. I so like. I have a. Did you see um, Tannis from Tannis oh. Five Arts who had the open back? Yes, like that's a what Lula convinced Lemon me style, to do it. Yes. Um, sweater or yeah, sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. Or, I, don't know. I think it was like a t-shirt material, but it was long sleeve. Yeah, but open. Back. But like workout wear. And it's yeah. peeked out on the back. I really like that. That That's picture cute. is what convinced me to do it because I've seen, I follow the hashtag and everybody's just wearing these really cute bralettes as like shirts or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. But that, these girls are not, cannot be contained by knits. Like this is not, it, it just wouldn't happen. No. And I'm not a girl who. It would who, be risky. <laughs> It would not look pretty. <laughs> anyway, so I thought, oh, well, the ripple bralette's not for me, right? Like, you girls know what I'm talking about, right? But then I saw what Tannis was wearing, and I was like, I have some shirts that would, like, look really cute. Like, I have a shirt that's open back like mm -hmm. that. And I have a shirt that's, like, open at the top. And I thought if I do the crisscross. Is that, like, the crisscrossy one? Some people do crisscross, some do straight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do crisscross. But, of course, for my size, I need more than a skein. So what I did, this is, and I have started doing this. I'm knitting the ribbing in this color. Ooh, fun. It picks up on these little exactly. pops here. Exactly. So this would work with either ski. Yes. I think it would look really great with that too, actually. It would. But I think it would be really great with this as well. See? Mm -hmm. Like, look at that. Because it pulls out, pulls out those that speckles. color right there. 
So this is the bottom band. Like you knit this bottom up. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, it's all weird. Um, so I That's knit like that. The smallest circumference needle. I know, it, which is funny because I had it on like a big 40 inch one, but then you're you're, you're doing this like too shuffling much. along. Yeah, yeah. So then I ended up finding these guys, which I actually bought in Knit City Ooh. last year. So I thought, and, and I'd never used them for a project yet. Anyway, so now they're on this. This this little thing is going to fit around. It almost my looks cage. like a scrunchie. Did you know scrunchies are a thing now? Oh yeah, they wear them for dance all the time. My daughter is all about the scrunchies. I did not know scrunchies was a thing. Oh honey, oh yes, oh yes. Everything that we had as a kid was back. I am not bringing back the scrunchie. Oh, I love scrunchies. Nope. I wear a scrunchie to bed every night. Mm. A pineapple with a scrunchie. No, I don't. I'm not gonna rock that look. I'm oh, I totally happening. rock it. Not in public, but <laughs> yeah, well, they maybe. wear them around their belly buttons too. Oh, okay, I can little, see that. Like, fun. I thought you said their belly buttons. I'm like, how do they do that exactly? And why? <laughs> oh my God, no. No. She'll be the one who gets her belly button <laughs> pierced, so hands down. Anyway, so yeah. So I went with that color because I thought that could go with this. But it also looks really good with this, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This will look really fun. Okay, let's open this guy because this is still virgin, It's too. one of those things where you don't really see the colors till you yeah. open it up. This is from Rhinebeck. Like two years ago. Ooh. Right? I'm not going to Ryan back this year. I know, I'm sad. Like, look at that. That's really fun. Oh my gosh. I didn't see that orange there before. I know. But, like, that would look really cool as a. It looks like graffiti. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yes. It's, it's called. Well, no, it's Dirty Top, which is why I think I bought it. It's all about the names. So, I think this might be too much gray to have. See, this would make a really great cowl, really great mm -hmm. scarf. I would even pair this with like a charcoal gray. That would be very pretty. And make a Voyage it... project. Right. And they're both um, single ply. That reminds me. So I think I need more of this because I would like to make different projects with this. Mm -hmm. So I think I think we're gonna go with Can You Dig It. I think so. Now I kind of wish I had done like a different color for the band, but. It's hard for me to knit, especially mm -hmm. ribbing, so I have to be careful about yeah. not doing too much. Yeah. Because it this movement hurts, mm -hmm. and then it gets stuck, and I have to like crack it. And oh, mm -hmm. my daughter's a hand cracker. She constantly oh, cracks, too. and I hate I crack everything. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. All right, so maybe I'll um I'll line this and do it because it's just it's fun. Like it's, it's, it's a good, it's a lot of fun. It ain't just going to be like a little pop and color. And it really is as bright as it looks on the screen. It really it is. It is super bright. Like, that'd be kind of fun. Maybe not with this. Like, that's cute. I like it. Right? Because this is too much for a hat. Even for me. <laughs> even for me. You'd have to, like, brioche it or, like, me tone it down with something else. Yeah. To wear it right on the face. This would make a really fun pure joy, though, if this was the color that was mm. just the one little stripe. Yeah. But, anyway, so this is going to be my ripple, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to change my mind like six more times. Speaking of brioche, do you remember yes. I was knitting a brioche shawl? I know I had started this. I'm pretty sure I had started this on the yeah. last. But you the, ripped it back. The Sojourner shawl. Yeah. Um, which was in, I think it was issue 27 of Pom Pom. So pretty. And I was two repeats away from starting there's like a, a lace band it's um do I have it here no I don't have it here um there's like a, a little lace band and then there's I think it's like a pleating edge or something anyways I was like so close to having finished that basic mm -hmm. triangle and then I noticed my mistake oh, no. and it was like you know how the triangles start out and they're like yay big like yeah. yay big and I was like yay big <laughs> and the mistake was yay oh, down here no. and there's no way to fix it Oh, you can drop it back. I mean, I could have fudged it and just like added the extra stitches on the one side or like yeah. Alt mm -hmm. didn't want to I it. can't. Once I've seen the mistake, I can't unsee the mistake and yeah. then it's just not something I'm going to be happy with. So, mm, I had hurts. to pull it back, but because the whole thing was brioche, you have the two strands oh, going no. through. So, Ooh. I had I took 
one skein and put it on my electronic ball winder and set mm. it on like really slow and then mm -hmm. it was like unraveling as I was like winding the other one. So I went, That's smart though. And then at the end I had like this much left of the oh. shawl. I'm like, forget it. So it's, it's in time out now. And then, but now I actually want to make something completely different with that yarn. I wasn't 100% happy with how so it's, it's a good it thing was knitting up. It comes out. Yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, there was a new sweater that came out. I can't remember the name. The name here. Golden Horizon sweater. Okay. It's pretty. Let's see mm -hmm. if I can get a picture where you can actually really see that. That's there pretty. Is. Tina. Uh, maybe we'll put a picture in, but I'll, I'll try to show you here. Uh, don't know a little blown out. Yeah, I don't think you can really see the texture there. That's pretty though. There you go. So it has nice like shape. little um, um, rows of color that goes through, but I really mm -hmm. like that. Like the um, the skeins themselves, um, one is a lot darker and, mm -hmm. and they're both like gray brown colors, mm -hmm. but um, I just didn't like how it looked in the shawl. But I think for this, it would look really nice. Yeah. But then I'll have to get a couple more skeins. And I think, unfortunately, one of the skeins was like a limited color oh. from Rhinebeck like three years ago. But maybe if I message to Dyer and like ask really nicely. It will not hurt to ask. Do it. Do it. Maybe she has some kicking around still. Maybe. But anyways, that's what I was thinking it was going to become right now. But then I'm like a sweater knitter now, <laughs> which is funny. All um, summer you've been a sweater knitter. Yeah, and we're just like. I've been knitting on the weekender. Yeah. And then I did a test knit for um, Hohi, which was, um, if if you've seen Hohi's podcast like two or three episodes ago, mm -hmm. or the Grocery Girls podcast three episodes ago, I think it was, um, Hohi designed a sweater pattern for Jody's birthday. Mm -hmm. And it was called Cedar, the Cedar Pullover. And I was lucky enough to get to test knit that. So okay. I, I don't have it here. I'm waiting for the pattern to be released and then I will show it off. Okay. Um, but I did knit that um, pullover and I really like it. The only thing, the yarn I use, I'll show you more, but like it really ripped off of my hands. So my hands oh, were like yeah. black all the time. So I knit that and fit, which was awesome because I've never knit myself a sweater yeah. before. And then I decided, um, Hoagie's Fall, um, Fall Knit Along is happening right now. So and that's what this beautiful thing is. That is what this thing is. This is like a cloud, so, guys. That's what it it's called, so like a cloud. But it really pretty. is like a cloud. I'm, I keep. Is it called like a cloud? It's called like a cloud. <laughs> Did I know that? I don't know. Did you know that? I don't think so, I knew that because it feels like new information. I just randomly I'm said like, that. I'm knitting on it, and I keep saying to oh. myself, "Oh, I get it now. I understand why she named it this." Because yeah. I'm like, "Like a cloud." That's a different name. But it really is like a cloud. So this here's the front piece. So like this is the back, and this is the front. So it will just sort of go like that. So I gotta knit this and then join it together. But yeah. this is where I am. So I'm almost done this front piece. Then I gotta knit the other front piece, and then join it together. And what are you knitting it with? So I got I, I splurged and treated myself. Um, I'm knitting this with the yarn that it's called for in the pattern in the colorway that they used in the pattern. Um, so you really went on a limb. I really did. Well, truth be told, I went to the store and they had a wide array of colors and um, there actually was, I had tried to purchase yarn for this when the pattern first came out, I think two years ago, and um, the it was at a an, at the Knitter's Frolic, which is our local mm -hmm. knitters there, and there just wasn't enough of the one particular color that mm -hmm. I wanted to purchase the sweater quantity at the time. Yeah. So then I went to my local yarn shop, um, the Knitting Loft. Um, and they had just gotten, they were actually restocking their Shibui. Mm -hmm. And um, they did have enough of it, but then I, I just, I love this, this like coffee mocha color. No, it's cuter. So I got this. So um, Shibui, Shibui um, Silk Cloud, which is, I think it's 100%, oh, it's 60% kid mohair and 40% silk. And then mm. Shibui Sima, which is 70% super, super baby alpaca and 30% fine merino. And they're That's both nice. in the mineral color. That is a nice cloud too that you can't really yeah. see. Can they? I don't know if they can see it's that really it's a nice. cloud I don't know to if it. You can sort of see the stitch definition there. Yeah, or the so nice twist. So yeah, beautiful. That's what I've been knitting with, and so far I have not alternated anything. I'm gonna start alternating when I join it all together. But oh, are you? That's gonna be a lot I of balls still of your life. Like, this is all I have. Like this is how much I have left. So I can definitely mm -hmm. knit the whole other front piece. Mm -hmm. and then alternate for a while. I don't think there's a lot of, they're all the same dye lot, and I really don't see much 
yeah, there's difference, not so I much, might not even... I wouldn't. I wouldn't, honestly. I might not even... And with the texture of, um, of the fabric, I don't know that you'd really notice so much. Mm -mm. Like, I might alternate, like, a couple of rows. I wouldn't. Before I change. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Like They're all pretty uniform. At the... They're all well dyed. At the time. Because, like, my, my um, shelter yarn, I haven't been alternating. Mm. Well, not true. I'm doing um, helical knitting, so I have two going all the time. So I'm alternating every row, essentially. But okay. then when I join in new balls, they never join at the same spot. Mm -hmm. So then one continues anyway, so I guess I'm alternating. I guess I'm alternating. <laughs> That was a really long what a explanation. roundabout way to say that I am, in fact, alternating. So, Look yeah. at you being a good girl. Yeah, so I'm knitting this, and I'm really loving it. Um, I just I put this stitch marker on it um, mm. for no reason other than it was super cute. and it's, um, Why shouldn't you decorate knitting? I think we yeah. should all decorate our knitting. Well, in the beginning, I thought, I'll put it there because I had to do so many repeats of so many so much length, and I thought, I'll mm. put it halfway, and then I can tell, like, yeah, yeah I'm about yeah. halfway instead of stopping to check every two minutes. Well, you know what um, Sheila does of of uh, Three Sister Knits, mm -hmm. who's one of our friends, is when she shows something on their podcast, she puts a stitch marker and in I it. And I was thinking of doing that. I was thinking yeah. of getting some of those light bulb stitch markers yes. in, like, a distinct color yeah. for just, like, when we podcast, put it on, and then next time move it. And, and then know. if I know if I've made no progress, because it never moves. And with this, you should show this next. Oh, okay. Because we're going to be trying so to, organized. We're not going to predict how often we will podcast but we will try our best because we, we under because we love this this is fun for us do. it's fun it's fun and but, it's so fun to interact with you guys i don't think yeah. you guys realize how special it is to, when we get yeah. like a message from you guys I or know. um the couple of times we've seen people in public like we don't so get much fun ever get recognized in public but the odd time it's happened yeah. usually somewhere knitting related it is so much it's fun. pretty it's pretty so damn fun. cool it uh it's a little it's it gives me a little thrill yeah it does. It's a lot of fun. And it's fun to, to think that, like, there was once people were posting pictures of where they watch our podcast and, like, on, like, the big TV in their living rooms. And I'm like, that is so cool that we're I'm in like, your lives that my way. My face and... is really big right now. <laughs> no. And you're weird. like, oh. But I do the but... same thing. Yeah, it's fun. But I, it's anyway, so... so we appreciate that. And we're going to, we want to be yeah. more involved. Let's and one of the way. things I find, because I um, I tend to watch podcasts when I'm doing, like, monotonous yarn work like yeah. twisting skeins and labeling things i have that like other people's podcasts mm -hmm. on just to sort of distract me from how bored i am yeah um but you know you sit and watch that and you get to know people like mm -hmm. you really feel like you you know these you people totally on the feel screen, like you know it yeah. and then you see them in person i'm like but they have no idea who i am like it'll be t so weird if i go up and talk to them but just take it's it from us. Weird. They want you to come up they yeah. want you to come and talk to them and mm -hmm. because you're investing so much time in like getting to know like well not only that but like time with us we literally are sitting in a room by ourselves talking to a computer yeah. so it's nice so, to know so that there's someone's actually, listening <laughs> it's so special to see that person yeah. on the other side of the screen and that's totally get like, to know them that's, yes that's yes. really fun i know so. sometimes i'll follow like the die another day hashtag just so we can see people yeah. watching us yeah and or if i like find out somebody is watching the podcast i'm following you back to yeah get to know you totally so that totally. when hopefully we do meet at knit city or right back or any or, of these yeah. sort of local yarn store mm -hmm. that you know we'll know a little bit about you too right yeah, yeah. For that's sure. super fun anyways this so, is our dedication well christina's i have take no credit for this whatsoever but i'm loving the idea <laughs> so i ordered a planner <laughs> um, sorry i'm like a stationary <laughs> I, I can't say that I love word. my stationery. I'm not... I'm trying a, to be better. I'm not a journaler. Way. I'm not good with my words the that way. is just... And, like, mm. all of the, like, pretty... Like, I love all the bullet journals, and I, I wish know. I was that person, I but know. I'm not that person. I buy them and collect them. Like, last year, I literally owned six planners. Oh, my Ask God. me how many I used. But I owned them, and they were all lined up, and I had all the special pens. I buy the pens. I buy the markers. I buy the stickers. Oh. I buy the special cute little paper clips. I buy all the little sticky notes, mm -hmm. and then I just look at them. <laughs> yeah. I don't, so bad. Like, I don't journal, and I don't plan out. I don't do the meal planning and that kind of stuff. Like, I'll have my mom I'm journal. Doing meal planning. I, I try. I'll do, like, the first week and then forget yeah. all about it. But I got this. This is cool. So I just got it with, um, with like the lined paper. It's just plain lined, yeah. 
And then I got these little doohickeys, like the different stickies mm -hmm. in it. And so the plan is for this, as I'm sitting and editing the podcast, I'm going to jot down what we talked about. Yeah. And then and if next, we had any ideas, because sometimes we'll be like, oh, we need to do this next time. Yeah. And then we completely forget to follow up. Exactly. So we can follow up. So then next time when we sit down, we can quickly yeah. skim through this, see what we talked about and actually talk about relative yeah. things and not repeat ourselves. Or completely times. like it never happened. You know what I mean? Like, cause we're like, did we show that on the podcast or have I, what do I have that's mm -hmm. new? What was the last thing that I bought? Like it's, yeah. it's hard well, to. Well, because we've done like a couple of things like our, on our own channels, yeah. like you've done some like diet tutorials and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, I've done a couple of like short things on my channel, mostly about my advent stuff or update related stuff, which mm -hmm. we don't want to flood this channel. Yeah. With, we like, want this to be more knitting and updates. less about less shop stuff. work stuff yeah. right like yeah. like we'll we'll update you because mm -hmm. i know that's kind of some part of the allure of us versus maybe some other podcasts because we do talk about that a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit but um so for like that kind of stuff if we have had a um like one of our personal um on our own little podcasts or like doing video things on my own things. I don't it's either. with you <laughs> i don't either then I'll, I'll link them at the end so mm -hmm. that if there was something else to supplement with then you, you can okay. find it easily sounds good anywho this hopefully will help us and how pretty is it we'll see isn't it i love it so fun. it makes me happy so fun yeah, yeah. so we're trying that's we're, we're gonna try. leave it like that we are gonna try we're going to try all right so next up on show and tell i have something else to show okay um i can't remember if i showed this or not <laughs> so this is this would go in the planner i'm knitting myself a christmas stocking I do not believe you have showed this. This rings no bells. Oh, so okay. a couple of years ago, like a, a long time ago, so it was before my youngest was born, I, I sewed all of our family new stockings mm -hmm. because they were like just a mishmash of like random stockings. So I made mm -hmm. them that were like specific to everybody's interests. So mine was always, <laughs> you know it, you know it. Uh, my, my stocking was always kind of left over. It was like white and sparkly and it was mm -hmm. fine, but it wasn't like me. So this was one of my Christmas yarns last year and I had... Um, was that the um, Quality Street? Yes. Candy? Yes. And I had... Um, so I... Anyway, so I had three that were not perfect. So I joined them together. <laughs> you a giant gobstopper. Isn't this really pretty though? Anyway, so... Like, and I look thought, at the size next to like... <laughs> baby one <laughs> I thought it'd be actually bigger than that compared yeah, but well, you um, some of it already that's true so I'm gonna make myself a giant sock that's fun right and I um so Do this you line is the them when you use them for stockings like with fabric I could I could really easily I just wonder if they stretch so I knit my son a pencil one last year mm -hmm, I did see that I didn't line it and it was mm -hmm. fine because I actually wanted it to go a little stretch because you know the worst thing with uh, when Santa stuffs stockings mm -hmm. is sometimes when things have odd shapes. Yes. Santa has some issues getting, getting it all in. in. Yeah. So with knit having being able to give a little of a mm -hmm. thing, I know that Santa benefited from that last year. Yeah. So I'm I'm. I can see that. So this way, I'm basically telling Santa fill it up. <laughs> oh. By the way. Room, room to grow. I <laughs> and I didn't stuff. realize it was going to be this big because I literally am knitting a sock. Yes. But because I'm holding three together, this is how big three. That's and really cute. I don't think these are like fives. US eight, so 5.5s? Five yeah, yeah, sure. No, yeah. five. Five? Because a seven is a 4.5 mil. So it must be a five mil. Look at that guess. Mm. Yay, me. I only, no, that's the only size I know the translation for is the US seven is, is a 4.5. Right. Well, yeah, so. I can't remember why I chose that size other than I like that you fabric. found it? Yeah. <laughs> I had two. <laughs> That's always good. I just found that I'd, I'd um, had these needles on something and it snapped like right here. One happened like that to mine. That blue shawl. I'm pretty sure this one was somebody sat on it. Yeah. Very yeah, so that's what I'm gonna knit for me, and because I'm just literally going round and round, magic looping. Mm -hmm. Don't even have to look. This is going to be like my hockey, my travel. This is gonna be my travel sock. Mm -hmm. So, I'm really super excited that's awesome. about that. I think I'm just gonna. I don't know what kind of heel I'm gonna do. I'll do a heel. Yeah. 
We'll see. figure it out when you get there. Right. So that um, that's gonna be my Christmas stocking. Super excited. That's awesome. Yeah. So my son has a pencil. Mm -hmm. My daughter has a ballet foot, which I'm going to knit one. Like this one is a fabric one that mm -hmm. I found at Chapters. Right. But it's really narrow. So Santa has a lot of problems fitting in yes. the things that he's collected for her. Yes. So it needs, it needs to be knit. Knitting is better. I yeah. agree. I agree. All right. All right. So I let's see your new, net your next thing. Um, I want to see that. Which? Your, your sewing. I <laughs> found sewing. <laughs> okay. So I had gone, uh, this one would have been in early July. It was in... Yeah first week of July because my son had a um, lacrosse day camp and I was we were doing carpool thing so I was dropping him and his friends off and then um, on my way home I stopped at Michael's because I had been looking online on um, Instagram yeah I looked on oh Instagram gosh. and somebody had posted about English paper piecing which I thought was really interesting and um, then I had done a little bit of Googling and found out that there was this hole punch, which essentially cuts out a perfect um, hexagon um, for English paper piecing. And um, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be convenient? Like, kind of like these, these fellas. So on the way home, I took my two little guys, we stopped at Michael's to buy this hole punch, and they didn't have it, which upset me. So I'm like, well, whatever. I'm just, get, I'm not gonna do this. But then the kids wanted to pick up these two little craft things, uh, like they were mm -hmm. painting some sort of wooden thing. One was a treasure chest and one was a sign. Anyway, so we're standing in line to check out. Mm -hmm. And in the checkout line behind the counter, they have this whole wall of cricket machines. And I'm like, I have one of those. I can make it cut out whatever shape I want. <laughs> like, and I thought, I have all this um, um, scrapbooking paper mm -hmm. from, you know, when I scrapbooked, not, but I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Um, at my house so I'll just use that so that's what I did so I was feeling really chipper again and then on the way home we passed by a fabric store where my mother-in-law works so we swung on in and I picked out some fabrics and I pretty much went home and cut a bunch of hexagons out and started doing English paper piecing so these are my Those flowers cool that I was doing. So I got seven different fabrics and I'm just doing all like, all these these flowers, they're all the exact same. Um, I'm making sure that everything is aligned the same and in the same placement and- Of course you are. <laughs> no random. I am me. So I've done quite a few. So I keep these in my little um, fringe- um, It's a perfect bag for it. These things called porter bins. It was the mini porter bin. And so I've got like a few that are needing to be sewn together, um, that have been basted, and then I've got like the fabric that I've cut out already. And I, I tend to sneak out to my mother-in-law's every once in a while and I'll just use all of her stuff because she, she sews, she doesn't quilt, but mm -hmm. she does a lot of sewing. So she has all like the cutting mats and all that stuff, rotary cutters. So, so I sneak out to her house and do that. So this, I started sewing a couple together. So it looks so I've done, cool. I just have this, like this like how cool sewn is together that? so far but I liked how when I sew the flowers together I get this collection of like three purples and like three sort yeah. of whites with the pinks evenly so it almost look like molecules yeah yeah I love so it so this is all I have so far I probably have enough flowers to like double this um, yeah I haven't really touched it since I started the um, sweater test knit and I did a couple other test knits in the summer for socks um, so, so I haven't neat. really played with it since then. So do you take that out after? So you can take the, the paper out after you've attached something to all sides. So then I took the all these inside ones Your out because it makes it easier. stitches are so tiny. Yeah, it makes it easier to sew them together when it's a bit more flexible. Yeah. And then you need the pieces to base more. It looks so, so this cool. is not perfect. I'm not by any means. It um, looks but amazing. But you can see, like, sort of, it's spaced it here, and then I, like, itty bitty stitch it together. Oh, my goodness. So, this is um, awesome. And my mother-in-law is a quilter, and I can see her doing something like I, this. I would it's never awesome. machine anything. There was a situation. I'm pretty sure I have mentioned it before. This was back in grade oh five, maybe? Yeah. 
Oh, Mac. Sew my finger. Well, then, and we did start sewing for baby stuff when we had babies. Well, squares. For washcloths. Yes. Yeah. I did the cutting. She did the sewing. Yeah. I like yeah. to sew. I yeah. sew a lot. Yeah. I will hand sew, but machine, mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so, so I just wanted to make, like, a, a nice blanket for when I'm, like, sitting on the couch. I don't, I don't imagine I will do, Are like, you going to do, like, quilting batting inside kind of thing? Yeah, but something thin. Like, I don't want to... No, you don't want it super heavy, but just no, it needs to a be little something. drapey and like snuggle up because so Oh my god, what if you knit a backing for it? I could. I might be I was thinking minky fabric. Yeah, but Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I just you know what my first thought of when I think of the minky fabric? God damn slime. Oh <laughs> no, we don't do slime Getting in our house. Stuck in the no. like the furry. Mm-mm. Minky fabric would be really nice and it would drape really nice. So um, my husband, his aunt or his grandmother, I can't remember, had made him a blanket, like full, like twin size bed blanket Ooh. when he was a baby of Sesame Street. Yeah, yeah. I stole it when I met him. So I have been using this blanket for the past 20 years and he used it for the 20 years prior to that. Well, almost, almost 20 years. He will be upset that I said two times 20 because that makes us older than we are, which would greatly offend him. Sorry, honey almost 20 years each and um i, I kind of wore it out like it's see-through it's holes. about time you made yourself a new one so now i have to make a new one and those colors are very you they're very yeah i like them so it was a lot of fun and they'll go well in your room it was a lot of fun yeah. but like i was talking to the lady at the store and explaining what i was gonna do and she's like oh that's wonderful and then my mother-in-law comes over because she'd been helping a, a customer and <laughs> she's like hmm, that's gonna take a while <laughs> This is like my 10 year project. Which is also like your other blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a 10 year project. Yeah. It's only been three. It, yeah. It, no, it's been four. I started four years ago. It's, um, so the podcast is going to be four years old because you started yeah. at the beginning of the podcast. I started when we went to the Plucky Retreat in 2015. Oh I'm not done that shawl yet either. So it's Thank okay. you. There we go. <laughs> I can knit a blanket and the amount of time it takes you to knit a shawl, I think I still win. But I've, I've, I've knit how many shawls since? That's the kicker. Sure. True. Very true. All right. Well, okay. So my next is in my, my bag. I don't oh, remember I what it Okay. So this is the shawl that we decided I was going to rip back. Remember, this is way back on the podcast. I had knit the extra colorway onto it and I hated it. Oh, yeah. The one you threw. The one I threw. So, oh my god, I didn't finish the row. Oh yeah, I did because I'm short rowing now. So, we frogged it. We frogged it all the way back to here. And we got the next one going. And... Oh, because you bought a second skein of that. I bought a second skein. then you started skein. the other color waiting for the skein oh, to look, get I here. Found my clip. That's Lucky Penny, isn't it? Yes. This is Tannish Yarn. And I think this is gold. I think this is literally just called gold. Yeah, I think so too. And this col- these, this combo of the Lucky Penny and Gold, someone had knit a um, study stripe out of, mm. and I loved the combo so much, and I went started to make this three three years ago, three summers ago, because it was when we were driving to Winnipeg, and um, yeah. So one of the knit nights that we had this summer, I ended up, what is this doing in here? I know. I feel like I made it to more oh. knit nights this summer than I did last summer, yeah. which has been really nice. Yeah. You so need your therapy. You do need your you therapy. You need your people. Yeah. So I'm starting again. I think I did a couple rows. You can see I did a little bit of green mm-hmm. there. So that's Yay. what I did at knit night. And then um, this one's actually good for my finger to knit on because it's all it's all it's um, all knit garter. Yeah. So I'll probably be, go back and forth between my ripple and this when my finger allows. Mm-hmm. So when my finger's feeling good, I'll work on my ripple, and when it's not, I can work on this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So, oh my, oh my ends. I hate ends. Mm. Oh my god, this is twisted. This is driving me insane. There. <laughs> okay. Panic! <laughs> Alright, and this one, this shawl is called, um... Do you remember? I can't remember. It got wet. By Anthony Casalino. Oh, the Aluna. The Aluna shawl, that's right. Oh, so it's gotten wet. You can't really see it. 
You can kind of sense like it has like the waves. Yeah. So there's a lot of short really rows pretty. and then you put in like the different color and short rows. And so I think I'm on this section right here now because I've got this dip and then I've got the second dip and now I'm doing, it will be like this wingspan mm -hmm. and then that wingspan and then, so I'm not quite halfway, I guess, but um, it'll be fine. Thank God the pages and are numbered. And it's kind of neat when you're working on it like that and it's a short row that's going back and forth. You're not knitting yeah. like the full span yeah. of the shawl. Although then you're stopping like when you're not fully, like you guys know how much I hate stopping when I, but this yes, is because this is where the true. short row would start back again. That's true. That's why this was great car knitting because we were going for like six, seven hours at a stretch mm. so I could finish a chunk. So yeah. I need, I, you know what, I kind of feel like working on this today. So maybe there you go. this afternoon I'll work on this. I started a new shawl and it lives in my Sandy by the Lakeside bag. It's a fire so fly bag that I got. This was like when she first started. Um, so this is the whiteout shawl. Oh wow. Which I had bought this yarn a long time ago. Did you ago. ever color safe that? Like, have you this is a different color. So okay. I had originally purchased a Looks navy like blue. I had mm. originally purchased the navy blue mm. and then the navy blue I thought when I got it I'm like I better just make sure that's just not going to sure. bleed because yeah. this is like a crisp white. Yeah. Um, and it bled a lot, a lot, a lot. So I was a little too scared. So I ordered this sort of charcoaly gray. Yeah. Uh, which I actually really, really like. Yeah. And um, I was going to knit this with my friend Ashley or our friend Ashley, and I believe she just wound up her yarn as well to start it. Oh, nice. We've literally been talking about knitting the shawl for year, for years. Um, I think it's by Melanie Berg. If I. It sounds like something like hers. Maryland. I can't remember. I'll put it on the that screen. That makes sense, because I'm knitting her Ashburn one, so yeah. she would call it Marilyn. You have no needles on I there. I don't have needles on <laughs> because But I'm, you don't even have keepers. No. Where are your black discs? Well, they don't really come over these. Um, so, ta-da! This is all she I have done. Just to... This is lace weight, so it's like oh, wow. slow moving. Um, but this is the one color, and this is the other one. Nice. And what these... size needles are you supposed to be using? Whatever the pattern says. No, actually, it will say on here. These are, um, this is signature. Oh, so, so they have specific cords? Yes. This here is a 3.5, so US okay. 4. Um, so I started cool. that, and then yeah, I got sidetracked by sweaters. sweaters. So yeah. I haven't really worked on this for a while, but I'm really excited to have that shawl. It's one of my make nines. Um, I decided what? to do. At the beginning of the year, a lot of people were doing like a grid of nine, um, make nine 2019. And then, uh, Oh, you I thought we did those off. for like what we did the last year. Yeah. Oh, that you made nine. This is oh. make nine. Oh, I didn't, I never this saw this. I'm setting out to do. So, um, I will post mine on the, on the screen too. Um, I'm going to do a, a 2020. I had set out to do a few different ones. Let's see if I can find it here really relatively quickly. Uh, that's not it. I know I posted it. Like, I didn't do mine till like, this summer. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah. You think you'll have nine projects done? There. Here's mine. Okay. All right. I like this idea. I have uh, one, two of them cast on, one I pulled out. <laughs> so, that's not getting done. This, this is it here. Hmm. So... I have the yarn and the pattern for the hats. I have the yarn and the pattern for like the shirt down here. And then there's just a cowl and some fingerless mitts. I don't think I'll get to my find, find your fate this year. Um, but I've done a few other things, so that's fine. Yeah, it was just like over. sort of nine patterns that spoke to me that I was hoping to get done. And if I do, great. And if I don't, that's next year. Because things come up too, like mm -hmm. new patterns come out that you just yeah. have to knit. And New, new wool. New kits release. Oh, speaking of which, she's got us something to have. open. So I bought this from Barrett Woolco, um, which is Susan B. Anderson and her son. Um, that's their company. And um, I'm so excited to see what this is. Yarn company. Oh, no, look, I'm just... You're just wrecking everything. Ripping it. So I like this. I love that they idea of the that. paper bag. So that's it. Um, Super cool. So there's a little coaster. Oh, very Ooh, nice. Thank you, Coaster. And then it comes in this. So cool. This is the second kit that I've ordered um, from them. And it is the, I ordered the Trick or Treat Bear Kit. Ooh. And it's like a little knitted 
bear that has a little sweater and a hat, and then he has this little basket. That's so cute. So I love the little bag too, a little linen bag. It comes, yeah. So it has black skein, and this is like their um, their yarn. I don't know if this is their Wisconsin um, woolen spun. Has this in there? It had. It comes with the safety eyes. Um, it comes with a little. Um, it comes with a thing. I gotta cover my download code. <laughs> it comes with, I bought the with the pattern. You can buy it without, but it comes. Um, so this would be my download code to download the pattern off of Ravelry. And then it even comes with this little tin. I love those tins. A little tin, which I think probably has stitch markers in it. Stitch markers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, there's light, light bulbs. bulbs. Yeah. There is. Uh, yeah, they're all little light bulb ones in all different colors. Ooh, look at that. I'll find that later. Oh, that's right there. Like, we just can't get it without yeah. knocking the camera. Yeah, because we have, like, superior furnishings so for this. It it's is my literally super an ironing squeaky board, guys. ironing board. And it's Did you guys know that squeaky. we sit in front of a liar ironing board for our little table? Uh-huh. I mm -hmm. would like to know what my neighbor thinks, who is, like, right there and can totally see into my living room or my yarn room. This is technically my formal dining room. <laughs> Renamed the yarn room. Um, yeah, I was sitting here in front of a lamp and an iPad and a It's so weird if someone was to look in. Yeah, there's now workers outside. Oh my god, there's workers outside! My outside. Front door. <laughs> oh, like high vis and everything. They have been, um, they've been digging up our streets, uh, like all over town. Has this to, been going on for the last hour and I didn't even notice? No, no, they okay. just got here. Um, to put in like fiber internet cable. So um, they had dug out like my avenue. Dude has a full. Yeah. Yeah. Full beard. So now it looks like they're going to fill in with some dirt and maybe actually seed it, which is annoying because I already seed. seeded it. It's not good seed. My seed never grew. We had to put down our own seed. So that's what's happening. They're having a great time though. Oh yeah. Sure. They're happier they're today like than the day that it poured. <laughs> They were out there again soaking wet. So basically, if they were to look up into the wind right now, they would see... They would see the lamp. Yeah. Like the bright lamp. But really, you can't see into the house that well. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Anyways. So I got that kit, and I'm really excited to cast that on, mm -hmm. which I really should get doing, because obviously it's a Halloween kit. But then I bought their Christmas kit, and I haven't started that yet. Like, I bought it before Christmas last year, and then the postal services decided together that they were going to hold it hostage for a while. Well, last year was a bad year for... Was it last year that it was the bad year? The year yes, before? it was last year. Um, so I did end right. up getting it in like late January. So I got to do that too. But it's like yeah. a, I think it was a wreath. I think I bought a wreath kit. So I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what I bought? Now that I bought because um, they did a collaboration with Tough Woolens and there was a little hand oh, yeah. bomb in there. Yes, and it was yes, Nilla I remember Chai, that. And I love Tough Woolens. Yes. Yeah. Love it. Which is the main reason I'm upset I'm not going to Rhinebeck. Because she's going to be there and you can sniff them all. Is she doing um, the, not the Rhinebeck weekend popper, she's, she's doing... She's doing um, Needles Up. Needles Up. She'll be at Needles Up on the Friday. Yeah. So if you're there, trust me, you need to go to the Tough Woolens booth. And I think the first hour is like, there was the VIP tickets that yeah. you had to purchase. Uh, but the rest of it is free entry. Like, they're only allowed so many people mm -hmm. in, but... Um, it, you don't have to pay to get in. And last year, it moved pretty quick. Yeah, it was um, fine. We didn't have VIP tickets, and we still got and it. It's in. it's on the Kingston side mm -hmm. um, of the river. Mm -hmm. at, it, it's at the hotel. I believe it's still at the hotel where they used to host India Untangled. Days Inn? Uh, was it the Days Inn? A Holiday Inn, maybe? Mm -hmm. I think it was Days Inn. Anyway, it's where they had Indian Untangle there for the first yeah. like five or six years, and then last year Indian Untangle went to um, a different location, and then Needles Up mm -hmm. uh, moved into the location that they had previously mm -hmm. been at. So if you've been before, that's where to find it. Go see Martha. Her stuff is amazing. You'll love it. <laughs> Trust me. Cider Donuts, best one. Oh my god, I still, I've been hoarding one that I haven't touched I yet. I use mine so sparingly because I know... I could so you easily just like year. put Every, it on like right? constantly. Yeah. So I'm. Um, we have a couple friends who are going, and and I I need to like really butter them up so they can go do my tough woolen shopping for me. Why not? Doesn't hurt dad. Yes. Um. So that. So I got this new uh, needle minder, needle keeper. I don't know. 
uh, for my circular needles. I saw that um, uh, the knitting loft <laughs> started carrying <laughs> these, and I thought those would be perfect for idea. my um, signature needles, which yep. is pretty much what I knit on almost most exclusively of the time. now. Almost. Yeah. Um, so it's like this accordion style pouch. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep my like the tips are hard to say, but like they're in in there, and then there's like the bigger pockets that you can put your cables into. So like in here, so you can sort That's of see good. some blue ones poking out here. Mm -hmm. So. So I really like it. Um, there wasn't quite enough slots. I got the small size. Um, I think it's called Plistra. Plis I don't know, it's Norwegian. Uh, I'll put it on the screen before I butcher it. Um, but they made it, and this is the small size. There's a, a larger size too, which I think is deeper. I don't know that it has more slots. The slots are a little bit different. Yeah, you different. wouldn't want it deeper, you just want more slots. Um, yeah, I could have used like a couple more slots in it so I might get a second one for like my mm -hmm. larger yeah. needles um, because I tend to mostly use like this is the smallest ones and even they might not these are 3.25 which is a US 3 mm -hmm. so like US 3 to 7 or 8 is pretty much what I'll use the most yeah. and they would all fit I think I have these are my 4s these are my 7s mm -hmm. so like it could fit like if I did like three mm -hmm. up to seven they would fit in here and then like my eights and nines I really don't use them no frequently but it's a, it's gorgeous but I really like it yeah I really like it. and they don't fall out it is open on the bottom like you can see the needle tips here it is open on the bottom but they can't but they don't out. they don't come out now I have another one which is a similar idea um the inside part is plastic and it too is open on the bottom but like it's like this wide mm -hmm. so it can actually slide out of the bottom yeah if you just put the needles in there like by themselves I mm -hmm. usually keep them in like the sleeves that they came in but I thought this was really neat for mm -hmm. like travel uh, yes. you can just like tuck this little thing in and you have yeah like a f array of needles with you of It'll course be perfect to take to uh, knit city yeah in case you want to start any projects you have well I selection. brought them with me because we were going to my in-laws for a family dinner and I brought my um, I brought my uh, like a cloud cardigan yarn with me and the pattern with me and the thing with me I was missing the one size oh, I needed. Oh no! Damn it. That'd be frustrating. In theory it would work really well if I put my things where they belong. Putting stuff Which away is so hard. I don't like adulting all the time. Like no, you just need either. to not adult some days. No. And I right? started using this too so um, I got Oh, back that's from my nice. birthday. Yeah. Um, and then I'd had this. I bought this a while ago from our friend Sandy. That's one of her so leather nice. pouches. But yeah. I hadn't been using it. I just loved it and I had to have it. So I bought it. Um, but now I'm keeping like my cocoa knits. Um, these mm. are my little ring stitch markers. Like nice. little colored yeah. rings. Yeah. Um, and a tapestry needle. And I have like my pins for blocking. Oh, so it's almost like your little notions case. Yeah, my measuring tape. Nice. I have my little Eiffel Tower scissors. Oh, I love I found those. Because they were in a, they were in like. Oh, they're my in my notions case. They were with a project that I have like not worked on in forever. Mm. And then I got, um, Sandy scissors. Ooh, the Pelican ones, aren't they? Yeah, with her little um, tip cover thing on it. So I've been. I'd be worried about losing that. That's what I've sort of been having in this. Mm -hmm. That's a good way of using it. This pouch, and then it just, I'll slide in. Um, project bag. Like, I got my town bag, I'll put in whatever mm -hmm. field bag I'm working on in it, and then, like, this beside it, and we're good to go. Awesome! Because what else do you need in your purse of knitting? Money Shh. to pay for more wool? Just start a tab. <laughs> I wish. Can you imagine? I wish. <laughs> I wish there was, like, a yarn bar. Oh. And then all the yarn is like named after drinks. I'll have the martini, please. Ooh. With a twist. You need to bake like martini wool. Mm -hmm. Speaking of making wool, I'm going to start dying again. Yay! I had my little midlife crisis where I didn't want to die. and I didn't know what I wanted to do. But I'm back. So I've got wool ordered. Mm -hmm. I've got plans of what I want to like dye and what I want to do. So hopefully within like two weeks, I'll be able to start updating That's the store awesome. again. Yeah. That's awesome. So if you've been waiting for pencils, they're going to be back. <sighs> pencils and paper are top mm -hmm. priorities. Yeah. But 
so I don't burn out again because honestly, when you do thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of the same thing. Well, and that's it. It's the repetitive. <laughs> it's the repetitive part. If you're doing the same colorway over and over and over again, it just, it becomes dull. And that's part of like working yeah. in an artistic space. It has to be like a yeah. little new, sprinkle in a little of this. So yeah. you, every once in a while you need those like experimental days where well, you just it, do new stuff. Yeah. And it gets, it's hard. So like, I know that everybody, like, I love that they're loved. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to complain that they're loved because yeah. I love that everybody loves them. Mm -hmm. But when all you have is like a hundred orders and every single one is just pencils and same maybe thing. they'll pick up something else you've dyed just because why yeah. not? The shipping's the same. It just kind of crushes you after a while. Yeah. Like you just kind of need to stop and step away. And I had a great summer and now I have like fresh Recharged ideas. Recharged and... Yeah, I've started yeah. saving like colorway ideas again and like that's something I hadn't been doing mm -hmm. like I had kind of been feeling like just doing the bare minimum so I'm really excited to getting back to like Instagramming once a day mm -hmm. and like showing you guys what I'm doing and I'll have more like just um I don't know they're not dye videos but basically where I just film what I'm dying like what I'm doing yeah it's like studio chat studio yeah I, but sometimes I didn't even chat like I just mm -hmm. had music playing and I was just like doing what I wanted to yeah. do. Like, you just got to watch and hang but it, out. But it's kind of neat to see those sort of behind the scenes. I know I like seeing them. Yeah, me too. Uh, I, I can't. <laughs> I like doing that. I'm way too, like, me. mechanical in how I work. <laughs> I would be so boring. But this is, like, I love creating the new things, and I, yeah. I, need, to, I need to feed the creative side of me so that I can continue pr mass producing things. So I need to mm -hmm. better balance myself, which I have... I think I'm. I think I'm ready to do again. It's. So. It can be hard to juggle. It can be yeah. hard to juggle because um, this is our job, but that doesn't mean life doesn't sort of yeah. come into that space. And because it's our job, but we're working from home, and you're yeah. kind of sort of flexible. And so, if a kid is sick one day, like they're you, going to stay home, yeah. and then that day you don't get as much work done as yeah. as you would have liked, or you know, things can happen that yeah. sort of interrupt your flow. Um, well, and, and when you it's a love and a minus something and, and then you turn what you love into a job, yeah. you have to be very careful to protect what it is that you loved about it that, mm -hmm. so that the whole thing doesn't become a job. Yeah. And I fell down that hole in that I didn't even want to like look at other people's knitting stuff on Instagram. Yeah. I didn't want to go to knit nights. I didn't want to knit. Like I just mm -hmm. was so overwhelmed and just burnt out. Exactly. It was just, I needed, I needed to step away. So that's like, yeah. it was a great summer. I was turned off Yeah, and for everything. me, um, socks are kind of that thing because I yeah. dye sock yarn. So right. I'll knit socks as samples or to take yeah. pictures of or whatever. Um, so sometimes knitting socks for fun is not fun at all. Yeah. So you'll find me off knitting, like, I knit a lot of shawls, but I mm -hmm. don't wear shawls. Yeah. I do not wear them. I knit them. I don't wear them. I'll wear them like in the deep of winter, like to run and get the kids from school and like yeah. wrap them all over my face. Yeah. But it's not something I wear as an accessory, which yeah. a lot of people would. Um, socks I do wear, but it's just, yeah, it's work knitting. Well, that's it. And I think this is real talk with you guys right yeah. now. I don't know if you're going to keep this. We can cut this if it's too serious. <laughs> but like there's a pressure to knit your own colorways so that you can show them off and promote sales. Yeah. But then there's and also... And it makes sense. It does. It makes sense because people want to see what they're going to be receiving. Yeah. And what it looks like in a skein is not necessarily translates that totally. well to what it yeah. actually looks like knit up. So I understand that for sure. But then there's also like, we just love wool. Like that's what it comes down to. So we yeah. want to knit other indie dyers wool. We want to knit other projects. We want to do different things. Yeah. But there's this battle between promoting your own stuff, which mm -hmm. we have to do. We're small business owners. We have to promote our own thing. We have to keep on top of social media we yeah. have to keep on top of samples but we can't let the joy drain yeah. away so that's why so I warning to other indie dyers that's why i find for I like <laughs> um for like my own projects i yeah. tend to sort of treat myself to those things that yeah. like i wanted to try shelter i've never tried shelter yeah. um so i treated myself to this and yeah. obviously the shibui is a, is a splurge yeah um but like i like knitting with those luxury things yeah. and like my work knitting is all sock yarn yeah it's not that nice like it's a nice plump sock yarn that we use but mm. um it's not that but when you like... deal with it in the quantities that you do and that <laughs> i did it's everywhere it's everywhere it's not special you anymore just need a little, you just need to change it yeah. up a little to make it fun yeah like i had a little eye-opening moment this summer that my sister-in-law is a crocheter and well a new crocheter she's been doing it for like a year or two mm -hmm. she came to my house and she lives far away so this is the first time she'd been to our new house 
and she wanted to um, she wanted some wool to do some projects with. Mm-hmm. So I walked in and I was like, okay, well here's the rest of my work stash and here is my personal stash, and her eyes were just like, and I kind of sat back. I was like, I'm really lucky to have access to so mm-hmm. much wool that I, I I have to stop and think about how much someone else would would really be gracious to have that much do you know what I mean like I have to stop and think like and we get a lot given to us and gifted to us and to to try and we talk to other Indie Dyers and it's just we have more opportunities to like even like do swaps and stuff yeah yeah. in in the business so I I I needed to revisit what I was grateful for yes and so and I find sometimes I'll pull out it's been a while because you have known this <laughs> has looked like this for a while. But like yeah. every once in a while, I'll pull it all out and put it on the floor and like reorganize it and yeah. sort of like uh, fall in love with that yarn yes. all over again that you purchased. Yes. And you remember, yes. oh, I got this at Rhinebeck and I talked to so and so. And like yes. it's just the memories that are attached to that particular skein. Yeah. So, like, you need to visit your friends every mm-hmm. once in a while. Yeah. And when you get so caught up in work, and I, all I could see in like my dreams was like the pencil yellow, the pencil yellow, yeah. and soft ones. It just, I need to. Or you'll to... sit down to like relax. But the point when you work from home, you're never really done. You could always do more. So I you have to always like, do more. There's always myself. an email that you either should send to yeah. say like a store to set up a wholesale order, or yeah. there's a customer who needs a response, and it's like 11 o'clock at night, and you kind of want to shut it down and just knit, but you feel guilty for mm-hmm. not responding you right away. You kind of have to have, like, office hours. Like, during these hours, I'm going to be working. and during these It's hours. hard, though. I try to it's take, hard. like, a half an hour of the day. Like, this is my yeah. lunch break. This is where, you know, if I yeah. had an office job, I would be sitting in the lunchroom yeah. right now, and I'd be sitting and knitting on this. Yeah. So I'm doing that. I know. And I like that because you actually show that on Instagram a lot. And so that kind of helped me being like, okay, it's I need to take that time to mm-hmm. have my little knit break. Yeah. And not be like, okay, I've got to dye like two braids of this, and I've got to do mm-hmm. this, and this is waiting, and it was this needs to be shipped out, yeah. and I and got... I need to be more be- organized. So I've got myself organized. Mm-hmm. So I think it will be less overwhelming now. Yeah. And it's been five years. I've been a business and been a dyer for five years, guys. Like, what? Right? I missed my anniversary. It was in August. It's crazy. And pencils. In September, that means I've done it before because I sat for a years. year and like thought about it before I actually right? got brave and did anything. Like how crazy is that? We've been doing this for so long. So, anyways, I'm I'm really pumped to get back to That's it. Like good. I'm really excited. So there'll be some pretty cool things coming, I'm sure. I'm hoping, and I'm I'm redoing it. So I'm doing um, I'm not doing any more dyed to order. It's going yeah. to be only what I've dyed, and I'm going to dye what I want. And if it doesn't sell. That's okay. Then they're stock. Then they're stock. Mm-hmm. But it's everything's going to be ready to ship, so everything will be... And I think you'll find, too, that that's a lot less stressful, because that's I so. how I tend to do it most of the times. So I'll yeah. have it all ready to, like... Mm-hmm. I try to get it all to, like, ready to ship, or at the yeah. very least dry and just needs to be reskained before yeah. I put it in an update. Uh-huh. Like, I'll have yeah. stuff dyed, but it's not dry yet. It can't be reskained yet. But And I know that it will be a couple of days before mm-hmm. that gets done, so like, I'll just leave it out of this update. It'll be in the next one. Yeah. Well, and I want to, I literally have everything skinned and labeled and ready to go mm-hmm. so that when you buy it, I'll go to like the post office twice a week. So you yeah. will never wait longer than like three yeah. days to get it in the mail. So mm-hmm. I'm really excited to be organized like That's that. Exciting. And then we can carpool more. <laughs> That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I'm mm-hmm. really excited. Like I have it back. It's back. It's yeah. exciting. All right. My printer so. is like starting and I'm I was like, why? Is because that? there's no one here. But it's. I think it might maybe just cycled. It's on standby, I guess. Oh, okay. Siri. Wouldn't that be funny if, you? like, some random paper spit out, yeah. like someone connected to Wi-Fi to your printer? That'd be so cool. <laughs> It'd be like the workers outside. We see you. Right. <laughs> All right, so let's wind up with a, yeah. what have you been watching? What have I been watching? Yes. Um, okay, so this summer I watched, like, all of Glee. I never watched it when it, was, when it was on TV, and I just sort of wanted something, like, lighthearted and fun. Yeah. Um, so I was watching Glee, and actually, uh, every once in a while, my kids would come in, and like, because, again, I'm doing it while I'm reskating and stuff. Yeah. And they would come in, and they would sit down and watch it with me, so they sort of, like, know the characters, and there's a few sort of conversations that came up. Yeah. Based on, like, the characters in the show, because they yeah. have a good variety of different... They really do. 
teen life stuff related that we need to talk to our up. oldest boy well, all of the kids but yeah really so we had important. some conversations with, with the kids nice. over some of the things on that show and then mm-hmm. um my husband and i we started watching friday night lights again oh never seen it okay um so I've never watched it. So we started watching that. It's uh, yeah. all football. <laughs> We're learning a lot. Awesome. Um, and then I just started back like a week or two ago. Like after the kids went to back to school after mm-hmm. Labor Day, I started watching a couple of podcasts again. So I've been I've been catching up with um, Kay from mm-hmm. uh, Crazy Crazy What's it called? Crazy Sock Lady. Yeah. 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 Is that yeah. her real name? <laughs> her actual name? Um, I only know the podcast. And I was I catch caught up with uh, Denise um, from Earth Tone Skull Earth Tones Girl podcast. Ooh, oh yeah, my, I like her a lot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I ca- watched a couple of new ones too. Okay, you guys need so to check I've been out trying this one. To... Forest mm-hmm. City Knit Girls. I discovered them this summer. Oh, it's not showing. Anyways, uh, YouTube Forest City Knit Girls. Really enjoy them. Oh, I'll have to check watch it that out. One too. They're. Um, they only have, they have like two point four k subscribers, so, so they're relatively. Rich. I haven't I haven't gone awesome. all the way back. I've started watching. How from many the newest. episodes do they have? They don't. Um, let's see. Let's see the newest one, episode twelve. So oh, okay, I have to them. check them out because I did do um uh, I posted in my Insta story and asked yeah. for suggestions for podcasts and I did get a lot. I didn't get oh, to watching them in the summer, so I'm trying to okay. like start watching them now. And there was a couple in there that I have watched and okay. um, when I'm watching a new, new one ones. that I'm enjoying I'm yeah. going to post it to like my Instagram stories which I've done a couple of times nice. like with new patterns or new podcasts or whatever yeah. I've been watching to sort of share what I enjoy yeah. so if you like if what I'm knitting on and working on and the colors and stuff that I like appeal to you maybe some of these podcasts and, and projects that or patterns will it's like we're curators appeal to you too <laughs> <laughs> sure um, but um, I just watched yeah. one recently um Best day of my life, maybe. I have no oh, idea sure. I'll put that. it on the screen. Uh, that was really enjoyable too. And I'm like, these are my people. <laughs> like they are, like they are all into like the fringe bags, and I have a problem. And <laughs> the does. plucky yarn, she like has a plucky I could, problem. I, I could chill with these ladies, and yeah. I think they're from like, um, I believe they're from like the Maryland, Philly area. I, I'm in the. I'll be back next summer. For them right now, what are they? Just best day. day. I think it was the best day of my life. I, um, podcast? Yeah, I posted it in my um, stories because I really enjoyed their podcast so much. So I shared it in my stories. Uh, activity. I don't see them. Anyways, podcast. I'll I'll find it later. Um, TV wise, I've been binging on Mindhunter. They left the new season I have not came seen out. That. Really, really good. I really like it. Is. And just like uh, random best stuff. Day ever, best day podcast. ever crafting podcast. Best okay. day ever, and they're on episode fifteen. Best day ever podcast. Yes. Awesome. Really sweet ladies. I oh, thoroughly they, enjoyed oh, that. Oh, wait. That? Tie-dye diva? Yes. Tie-dye diva. Okay. Awesome. And then her friend is in this one, but I believe it is Tie-dye diva's podcast, and then her friend um, joined her for a couple of episodes, awesome. but they were saying they weren't sure if that was going to be a permanent thing, but I think it should be because awesome. I really enjoyed it. Good. And I just followed them. So, yay. Yeah. All right. So, do you have anything else to show, or is that it? That's us for? Um, that's about it. I have, I have a collaboration coming out soon. Um, I helped name something today, too. So, I'll quickly show you, um, because, again, we're trying not to mix, like, our business into too much, but um, I dyed a couple of colorways for, like, a fall release. So, these are going to be releasing at Knit City. I see City. a theme. At Knit City. You want me to hold them? You know. So these are like my fall palette that's Aren't coming so out. they so pretty? Finit City. And um, these were sent to someone who is uh, designing a sock pattern that will go with it. But I will let her show that off. And um, this will, the pattern and the yarn will be releasing around Knit City time. So the, I'll bring the yarn. The yarn will definitely debut at Knit yeah. City. Um, whether or not the pattern is released prior to that, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you. I haven't seen it yet. But you know what? We're going to podcast again, and then you can share that then. Yes. So. Yes. So I'm super excited to get the pattern. This is Um, my favorite. I should receive it. And this is the one that I named. And that is the one the sock is knit in. So you may have seen some sneak peeks of this. Do I get first dibs on having one of these? Yeah, sure. 
So um, there's the three. Okay. So this one here is Lazy Afternoon, and you can't really tell, but it's speckled. There's actually a speckle. Okay, it's really And cool. a variegated stripe in this one. Um, this one here is Plum Perfect. It's awesome. I really like. Yeah. And then this one here we named Cherished. Oh, it's really blowing out with the light. It's really so, pretty. They are all five strip colorways. Yeah. Yay. So yeah, they will be available at Knit City and then once I get back from Knit City I'm going to have um, an update with mm -hmm. whatever is left. Awesome. But there will be a Christmas update before because Woo! Mama needs room. You don't even know how much oh, yarn gosh. is over here. So Seriously, much. talk about being like overwhelmed with wool. So, so much. If only we could show you. Yeah. So anyways, All right. We are going out for lunch now. So, so. good to be back. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you for joining us. Like, yes. honestly, thanks again for sharing your hour with us. I hope you had a good knit. Yes. And putting up with her inconsistencies. I know. We have the best audience. We do. Ever. We're so lucky. Yeah. So thank you, guys. Like, seriously. Thank you. Um, I hope you have a great day. Whatever you're doing, let us know. Say hi. Leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Join our Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Yes, and let us know when you watch. We can follow you back. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Let's go eat. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.